and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Norfolk Tides taking on the Gwinnett Stripers. And now, you're with us. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Tuki Tucson. Yeah, Bogey got the win last time out. Worked deep into the ball game and scattered a couple of hits. You can expect him today to try to match that. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. A solo shot. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Here's the center fielder, Colton Kowser. In there, and it's 0-1. And the pitch. Foul ball. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. 0-2 now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Out to short. On the run, sent it over to first. Not in time. He's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. First offering, misses the mark. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And a pinch. And now one and two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. And that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Anthony Santander takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. And that one fouled off. Kowser at first, one gone. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. David Dahl stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's one and two. And he deals. Got him. And that'll do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Bottom of the first. So here's the lefty, Drew Smiley. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys Leading shrink up. a little bit well, on the road. Right. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at hey, home man. and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. is 21st of the year and we're level it's tied at one well that one won't stay below the radar that made a lot of noise well i'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a breaking ball like that such a good chance that it's gonna hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough that to sneak tough. it inside that foul pole. not shortstop and yeah, the batter now oh. Paul phillip swing and a ball hammered left field gone 
This place is absolutely loving it. His 11th of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. Batting this third. is the kind of thing that can really that fire up hitter. the ball club. Julian. Now it's going to be Walker. Julian Walker. And he hits a ground ball right side, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Batting Drew court. Waters stands in. The center fielder. Drew. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number Batty two. Fit. Here's the, the third, third baseman, baseman, David Fry. Fry. Now a screamer into the outfield. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Robert Neustra. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. He needs a quick 1-2-3 this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Up the middle. Gets it to first. Oh. One out in the second. Batting seven. Here's Jemai the Jones. Jemai Jones. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a ground ball to first. Oh. Lugbauer takes it himself. Two up, two down. Batting eight. Here's the, the catcher, catcher Jacob Nottingham. Jacob Nottingham. And he swings and misses, oh, and it's nothing count. in one. A wide to kick the pitch. On the ground at first, and that's just foul. 0 oh, and 2 now. In the air, out towards right center. Brings it in for the third out. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, number 23. Leading up for the Stripers. The left fielder. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, base hit. And now the first Bad baseman, step. Drew Lugbauer. The first baseman, Drew Lugbauer. That one is hammered right field. That's back. Reaches over the fence and steals the homer. Almost a two-run homer right there, but an excellent job getting up, reaching up, and bringing right it field. back. Heartbreaker for the batter. And now number 16. That one the other way, calls it in, and there's two away. Throw behind the runner, they've got him doubled off. Back here at the ballpark, down the third baseman, Michael Brasso. Leading off for Norfolk. The third and base. for a strike. That's Michael strike one. Brasso. The pitch. Now the corner for a strike, and the count is 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page the right now. Number three. Now, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. And, and a big swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. 
Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other yeah, way. But that time, a little anxious. Colton Kowser. And now, Colton Kowser. Hey. In there for strike one. All one's the count. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. Look, Bow. Steps on the bag, third out. Bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. Leading off for the Stripers, the catcher. The wind and the pitch. O'Hoppy. Out towards left center, Kowser settles underneath it. One down. Now here is Jalen Miller. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot. His 22nd homer of the year. It's 3-1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Bo Phillip now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Now batting. Good stop. Whoa. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Now he'll turn for second, and that's going to roll to the wall. Now around second, going for third. Jones with a relay throw in there safely. His second knock of the night. Runner at third with one gone. Now it's the DH, Julian Nevada, Walker. He's 0 for 1. Designated hitter, Julian. On a line out towards center. He makes the grab. Runner tags from third. To the play. Save! And they're up by three. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Waters. Slice to right, and there's a hit. And that extends the inning. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Anytime you rip a line Third drive the other man. way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now, here is David Fry. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Waters, the runner at first with two gone. Liner caught it second. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ryan Mountcastle. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Anthony Santander at the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. That's that one ball. is upstairs. Pretty standard high 0 2 two fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down oh, in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that two breaking ball. ball in the dirt. Comes a 2 2. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now batting. David Dahl to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. 
Right hander kicks deals. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. The throw comes in too late, and he reaches safely. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the left fielder, Robert Newstrom. First pitch, and he just misses. And that's through there for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. That's towards center. Waters moving under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, number three. The left fielder, number 23. The pitch. Right side. One up, one down. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. Number so if he can hit the reset four. button from here going forward, Ooh. there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His 14th of the year. It's 5-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location Number or the 16. velocity. He was all over that fastball. Kowser makes the play, and there's two down. Now two outs, base is empty. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Logan, Logan O'Hoppy. Hoppy. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a cookie now down the middle. I mean, those are the ones hit. you dream about. Okay, Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Next to hit, Jalen Miller. Bounced out to short. They take the force out. Play made, that ends the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 5-1 ball game. New inning getting started. Now at the plate, Jamai Jones. Leading off for Norfolk. The second base Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, Jones. a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. And that's going to get into the corner. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jacob Nottingham. Jacob Nottingham will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. Brasso, now the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. At 
the belt fires and a foul ball he stays alive one out and a runner at second Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. The pitch. Off the mark there. Yeah, that's ball two. And the pitch. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Up against the wall and makes the catch. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Henderson in the box now. No balls in a strike. And it's second. Fought off foul. Kicks and deals. That's to third. And they put the tag on him for the out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Bo Phillip. For the Stripers, the shortstop. Bo. Here comes the Phillip. pitch. This to center field. Kowser under it. And there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want the that batter, one back, 15, no doubt. Designated hitter. So now the DH spot, Julian Walker. Walker. He's 0 for 1. That one laced to center and a base hit. He's been swinging it really well. They now didn't try to do too much with it. Just a field. really controlled, simple really? swing. We don't see a whole lot of that Water. these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. Right. But You're sometimes right. you got to shorten up just like that. Now, Pitching change right. here. Dean Kremer. Number the offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got yeah. a great curveball. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he need a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice line drive to the full now side, met it out front, but just man. stayed through it nice That's enough it. and ripped it into the outfield. Oh. And now, David Fry in the air right field. And he makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. That's out to center field. Kowser drops steps, heads back on it. And that ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Colton Kowser. Leading off for North. The and first offering is fouled off. Two of the most Kowser. potent offenses in the game squaring off. And a foul ball. The 0 2. In the air, left field. Can't get their base hit. And it gets by him. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. The throw in. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, but base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Mountcastle in the box again. Takes a strike. Late swing, fouled off. Kowser at third with nobody out. Back to right. Number 16 under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging from third. He scores on the sack fly. It's 5-2. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seat spot. He'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. 
Santander now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And here it comes. And a foul ball third base side. And he'll two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Put a drive into that ball, and he was rewarded for it for sure. He probably wondered a little bit if he got enough of it to clear the fence in the air. But I'm sure he's plenty happy jogging into second with the automatic double. Time called as the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. One reliever still getting loose out the pen. Toussaint makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. So up next, Robert Newstrom. Robert Newstrom. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. Deal two. This one in the air right field. Number 16 glides back, makes the play, and it's out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. And welcome back, bottom of the six. And here's the first baseman, Drew Lugbauer. The first baseman. Power. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Santander going back. Back some more. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. The he was all Number over 15. that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. That one ripped. And it goes just foul. Right into the plate. And that one in the air center field. Makes the catch for the out. Now Two outs, base is empty. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Logan, Logan O'Hoppy. O'Hoppy. And that one is lifted in the air. Neustrom moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Jackie Burnett will take over here, trying to protect this lead. And the pitch. Number nine. Going on. Jackie. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. The catcher. Next to 13. hit, Jacob Nottingham. Jacob Nottingham. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And he deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Number 16 on the move to the alley. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, now batting Michael Brasso. Number eight, now in the game as he takes Your over third. Now playing third. Also game. entering the game, C.J. Rodriguez. He takes over Number behind three. the play. C.J. Rodriguez. Number 16 has a beat on it, squeezes it, and that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the traditional number 
Second baseman, Jalen Miller. At the play, Jalen Miller. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Kremer back to work. Liner, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dot. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Okay. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Whoa. So digging in, Paul Phillip. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Throw into third. Over to third, but the throw's offline. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I don't know how now he's that. able to shoot that pitch the, the other way and hitter. still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he here let it get high. really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And here is Jacob Pearson. Line drive, base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and they lead by four. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now, now it's the switch hitting Drew. outfielder, Drew Waters. Drew. For the fourth time tonight. In there for strike one. And he lays one down the left side. Rosso whips it to first on the run. Just got him on that one. Now stepping in, number eight. Number eight. Center field. Kowser on the move. And puts the squeeze on that. Runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags, and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. It's time to go hit. Leading off for Norfolk, the shortstop. Gunner. So up next, Henderson. Gunner Henderson. He crushed one out of here earlier. An absolute tape measure shot. Yeah, indeed. It was a rocket. Just launched that thing. His swing, man, is so clean right now. I doubt he even felt the baseball make contact with the bat. The count. And fouled off. <laughs> On the ground. Sends it to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting the center fielder, Colton. And now the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. one. Oh, in the air, out towards left center. Puts it away for the out. So two now down that. now, and the here is team. Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan. Mountcastle. in there for strike one. All one's the count. 
On the ground to third. And the inning oh. is over. Bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, number 23. Leading off for the Stripers. The left fielder, number 23. The right-hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now it's going to be Drew Luckbauer. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ballgame. Yeah, Boogie, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. This one high in the air to left center. Neustra pulls that one down. Runner tags up for third. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Boog, that's just a terrible decision to go Number for third 16. right there. I mean, he was posed by a lot. Not even close. You've got to be a little smarter than that on the baseballs. Now it's the right fielder, number 16. On the ground to short. Fires to first on the run. Not in time, he legs it out. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. Runner at first with two away. And the batter now, C.J. Rodriguez. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. To third, not in time. He's safe. It's second and third with two gone. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Second baseman, Jalen. And here is Jalen Miller. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. That one lifted to left. Neustra on his way over. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Now time called. The right Pitching field. coach coming out Anthony for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Trevor Rosenthal. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Swings through that one. Rosenthal. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove yeah, side across the strike hit. zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was yeah. excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the now advantages of relievers who can come in Robert. and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Robert Neustrom stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering upstairs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Righty delivers. And there's a ball. That one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. 
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world. And they played like it today. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.